Excellent. Hey, thanks for tuning into the Rexer Show. Today, we're going to go over adding PCSX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator, onto RetroPie, and we're going to test it on the Latte Panda Alpha. Now, if you didn't see part one of this video, I showed you that first you have to install PCSX2 onto Linux through the terminal, and I'll link that video in the description so you can take a look at it before you try and do this. So ETA Prime recently did a video. He showed PCSX2 running on RetroPie. I was wondering, wait a second, how did he get that onto RetroPie? Because when I go in there and I go to uh, manage packages, use my keyboard here, manage experimental packages, and then I go down to PCSX2 and we try and install, it says uh, blah, 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 cannot be installed on a 64-bit system with RetroPie customer. Do you want to downgrade your OS? No. I don't want to downgrade my OS, so can't get it on there. Well, here's how you do it. We only need to mess with one config file, and it's the ES Systems config file. That config file will be found in your computer root, etc, emulation station, ES Systems config. We're going to copy that. We're going to put it on our desktop to work off of. And when we open this with Notepad++, you'll see you have all the systems on here and all the information, the paths for the ROMs, etc. extensions. We're going to add the PCSX2 script so we can add this into RetroPie. Now, I've already done an example config file here, and I'm going to open that up with Notepad++. This right here is the, the lines that I'm going to have to add in there. Whatever system you're working on is going to be a little different. Obviously, this isn't going to work on the Raspberry Pi. You're not going to be able to run Sony, Play, uh, Sony PlayStation 2 on the, the Raspberry Pi or many other single board computers. The Latte Panda is one of the only ones you know that's really powerful enough to run it, I believe. We're going to check it out you know, today and see how well it does. Um, but you're going to have your name, your full name, your path. This is where the ROMs are going to go, and I'll get into that in a second. Extensions that you can use, ISOs and bins pretty much are the, the file extensions for PCSX2. The command here, this is what launches basically the um, emulator. I got this from Curious the Cat on the single board uh, community discord. Um, if you're not a part of them and you have single board computers or you use RetroPie, you got to join them. They answer a lot of questions and without their help, I wouldn't even have got this uh, accomplished. So he gave me this line instruction right here. Uh, thanks again, Curious the Cat. Um, and uh, this is what you'll really need to put in to get it to launch from RetroPie. Then uh, the platform and the theme. When you open PS2, you get the you get the logo and stuff like that from this. It's already built into RetroPie, so you don't have to do any uh, artwork or SVG files um, and input those into the theme. Now all I need to do is copy this script here, paste it into my ES Systems config, and I'm going to put it right under PSX, uh, so PlayStation 1, then PlayStation 2. Paste it in there. Begin system. Oh, I need an end system. Clean that up a little bit. Going to save. Close out. And now I'm going to put it back into the emulation station folder. Now we're going to launch RetroPie. And there's our PS2 right there. Now, I've already put the games in the folder. You'll see six games available. I'm going to show you that as well because what I did was put my games into the normal directory where all my other RetroPie games go. So what I did was RetroPie ROMs, where all your ROMs are, I created a PS2 folder right here, and I put all my games in here. 
Now, I have uh, ISOs, and I have one bin. This NHL hits that one I could only find in a bin. So we're going to see if that runs uh, as well. Go back to PS2. Uh, got some games here. Let's put some box art on some of those. Okay, so we have our custom box art now. I added this myself. Uh, we're going to test out Capcom vs. SNK2 first. Let it load up so you can see the time. I won't skip out any of the video. Um, I'll just let it load so you can see the times. Now I'm running this game in two times native resolution. You definitely need to read about the resolution settings and how they work. I'm going to post a link about PCSX2 in the description so you'll be able to read about the resolution settings and how they work. They were a little tricky to understand. It made it sound like some games will begin a native resolution at a different resolution than other games. So the two times resolution doubling the native resolution may be different for each game. I'm going to let you read that. It was a little confusing, but I'm going to start at two times resolution. We'll just run arcade mode here, single match. Now, as I explained, I believe in my first video, the higher you go up on the resolution, the worse the performance is going to be. So right now we're at two times the resolution, and I can tell you this on my PC when I went to three, four, five times, the performance got really bad. So uh, I think two times on most systems is as high as you want to go. Um, oh, and I forgot to change the controller settings. Because I know my, my buttons are a little bit different here. The good thing about PS2 is you can go into your settings here and you can switch them up. Because I set mine a little bit different inside the emulator. Okay, start that back up. And I'm going to show you this little trick here to see my mouse go. If, if we we shrink the window a little bit we can uh, we can we can see up here at the top the speed we're running at about 59 60 frames per second so that's pretty good um, oh, I miss it. there we go got my buttons fixed And you can see up here where the, it looks like this is the resolution, it's on auto. I, I, I kind of don't understand, so you're going to have to read a little bit about that. So I'm not, I guess I'm understanding that the native might be 640 by 448. Um, but anyway, you can see that this is running at great speeds at two times the resolution. I'm going to double click, get back in full screen. And... Uh, I like that jump move, but this moves better. I love a punch move. That's the one I like. <laughs> All right, let's try a different game here really quick. I'm going to exit. Now, I haven't been using that this long on RetroPie, and I really haven't figured out how to exit right back to the RetroPie menu quickly, so I have to double click, close the window here, and then I can get back to the RetroPie PS2 menu. Okay, so this is the game I really wanted to test, NHL Hits. This is a favorite of mine. It's three-on-three -three NHL hockey. Uh, it's got the players' names. Everything's in it. These guys were way ahead of their time. Uh, three on three is very popular now, uh, even in the NHL in overtime, three on three um, is considered to be the funnest part of hockey. So let's open it up. Let's see what happens here. Uh, 
I'll let it load so you can see the time it takes. Looks like it's loading okay. Looks pretty good right now. Press start. Exhibition. Get started here. We'll just take the first team. Bill Guerin, Thornton. Tonight from Toronto, the Boston Bruins get on with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Sounds pretty good there. Loading. Let's shrink our window so we can see. Uh oh. Now I knew that this was going to happen because I actually tested it before um, in this example. But look at the frames per second dropping 30. Um, I even lowered the, na the resolution to native resolution and this is what it's on. It's on actually native resolution right now. This game is not going to run. It just must be too taxing. Look at it. You got some bad glitches there. The speed is terrible. Disappointing for me. Um, the good news is it runs on my PC. Um, so I'm just assuming the Latte Panda just isn't powerful enough. You see that the play is really slow. I mean, this uh, terrible. So highly disappointing. I will say this. Um, I tested a few other games on here, and they seem to run fine. Um, you know, obviously, I, uh, uh, Neo Geo Battle Coliseum, I tested that. Two, uh, NHL 2004 seemed to run okay. Um, Mega Man. So uh, it's going to be hit or miss, it seems like, on the Latte Panda on some of these. I would say the majority of them are going to run. I wish I had more time to test a lot of other games, but I do not. Um, but I just wanted to give you a brief introduction on how it looks on the Latte Panda, how it runs, and maybe a little tutorial on PCSX2. But again, read the handbook, the link that I put down in the bottom if you're really interested in PCSX2 because it's fairly complicated on, on certain settings. So, hey, thanks for watching the Rexer Show. Uh, questions in the comments, and uh, I'll try and answer. Uh, appreciate the views. Thanks, guys, and stay tuned for more videos from the Rexer Show.